This weekend saw millions of Americans once again take to the streets and town squares to protest the deaths of George Floyd, Breonna Taylor, and other black Americans at the hands of law enforcement. But unlike what our nation faced about a week ago, this weekend's demonstrations seem to have been almost entirely peaceful. No more rampant looting, no more police precincts set on fire. By and large, just peaceful protests in our great American tradition. Our country has remembered that peace and protest can and must coexist. The vast majority of men and women in law enforcement across our country are not evil, are not racist, do not wake up every morning looking for violence. We're reminded of their bravery every time a citizen needs to dial 911 and they rush toward danger. And we were all reminded again this past weekend as these professionals bravely kept watch over demonstrations, including ones where they themselves have been called racist or evil or denigrated in the worst ways because of their uniform and their badge. So Mr. President, if peaceful protesters rightly do not want to be lumped in with a subset of looters and rioters who seek destruction, then the vast majority of brave police officers cannot be lumped in with the very worst examples of heinous behavior. It's that simple. But instead, we're already seeing outlandish calls, defund the police or abolish the police, take root <clears throat> within the left-wing leadership class. The president of the city council in Minneapolis has proclaimed she can imagine a future without police. One of her fellow council members put it even more clearly. This council is going to dismantle this police department. To be clear what this effort is about, one of the local groups informing this push in Minnesota has literally stated that arts programs and mental health resources will be more effective at stopping crime than armed cops. Instead of, quote, dangers armed with guns, they say other professionals like social workers should be the ones to, quote, respond to crises in our community. I'm all for social work and mental health, but call me old fashioned. I think you may actually want a police officer to stop a criminal and arrest him before we try to work through his feelings. Well, even if some left-wing leaders fall for this nonsense, I have a feeling the American people are too smart for that. They know that what happened to George Floyd is totally abhorrent. They also know that riots and looting are unacceptable. And they also know that well-trained law enforcement officers are an important part of creating safe communities, not something to defund or abolish so I'm proud that Americans across the country can protest in safety and peace. I'm proud that their neighbors continue to answer the call to protect and to serve. And I'm hopeful that with unity and mutual respect, we can continue this important national discussion to ensure justice and equal protection under the law. Weilabangu